And now the Good Night Show on Sprout. Yay! You're here! Welcome to the You and Me Tree, Sprouts. That means it's that time of day when we say... Hey! Hooray! We had another fantastic day and now it's time to say... Good mailboxes? No. Good letters? No. Good night! like the doorbell. I'll go see who it is. I wonder who it is. Who is it, Nina? Look at this. It's a letter for you, Star. It's from Kabir. Kabir is my pen pal. I got a letter from my pen pal. Do, 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 do. I got a letter from my pen pal. Do, 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 do. That's my pen pal song. I just made it up. Oh, it's really good, Star. You know, a pen pal is a friend that you keep in touch with by writing letters back and forth to each other. Yep. And pen pal in Spanish is amigo por correo. Amigo, that means friend. You're right, and por correo means by mail. My amigo por correo lives in another country called India. This letter had to travel a long way. Would you like me to read it? Yes, please. Okay, here goes. Dear Star, are you having fun in the you and me tree? I hope you're having a great good night with Nina and your Sproutlet friends from Kabir. I tell Kabir all about you when I write letters. Let's put this in our best day ever book. You know, I have an amigo por correo too. Her name is Kelly and she lives in a country called England. We've been writing to each other since we were little. Nina, can we have a pen pal adventure tonight? That's a wonderful idea, Star. This is a great good night already. Did you hear that? Hola, Lute. Lucy, shine your light oh so bright. Tell us who's here on this good night. Hi, Sproutlets. Tonight, I got a letter from my pen pal, Kabir. So we're on a pen pal adventure. And pen pal in Spanish is amigo por correo. Nina. Can we send letters into space? I don't think we can deliver mail up to the stars. Oh, I wanted to tell them how pretty they are tonight. Well, we might not be able to send the stars a message, but there's a way we can get a closer look at them. We can use our Sproutoscope! But first, I'd like to hear you sing our special song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, friend of mine, I just love to see you shine. Let's look through the sparrows both together and see what shapes we can find. We just need to adjust it a little and... Ah, there, nice and clear. Wow, there's so many stars. And Lucy's here too. Hola, Luz. Now, let's all take a closer look and see what we can find. Hmm. Oh, Nina, I think I see a box. Hmm, maybe the stars are sending us the package. Maybe. And when I look at the same stars, I see something a little different. I see a mailbox. Yeah, there it is. Where you can send mail to someone special. Like you, Nina. Aw, thanks, Star. And thanks for your help, Lucy. Thanks for looking at the stars with us, Sprelet. Did you see the same shapes in the sky that we did? Shine on! Of all the stars in the sky, you twinkle the brightest star. Twinkle, twinkle, I am star, and I know just who you are. You're the friends who come to play at the end of every day. Twinkle, twinkle, I am star, and I'm glad you're who you are. Thanks for letting
letting your light sparkle. And I hear another sparkly friend. Oh, who's here to play, Luz? Welcome back to our great good night, Sproutlet. Tonight, we're on a pen pal adventure. Pen pal in Spanish is amigo por correo. Amigo means friend, and por correo means by mail. A pen pal is a friend you keep in touch with by mail. Can you try saying that with me? Amigo por correo. <laughs> Very good. My pen pal, Kelly and I, would write letters back and forth to each other all the time. We would tell each other about our day and the adventures we'd go on. And I would write to her about my abuelita and all the stretches she would teach me. Sometimes, Kelly would even try them at her house in England. Sounds like my friends want to do a sprout stretch now. Would you like to try one with us? Come on then, let's go. I'm a little sprout now, but just watch me grow. Up, up, up I go. I stand on my tiptoes and reach high in the air. And now I have a sprout stretch that I'd like to share. Hi, Sproutlets. Are you ready to do a sprout stretch? Yeah! Great. Tonight I want to do a box stretch. So first we'll have to make ourselves square like a big box. So let's get down on our hands and knees, just like that. And now let's take a deep breath in through your nose. Let it out through your mouth. Make sure your back is nice and straight like the top of a box. Good job, everyone. Now let's tuck our heads down just like this. And we look like square boxes. So let's open the box by breathing in and lifting our heads up to the sky. Great. Now let's lower our heads back down. Good. Now we're going to straighten one of our legs out like this far behind us. Pretend that you're stepping on the wall behind you. Good job. Bring that leg down and now stretch out the other one. Good job, everyone. Bring that leg down and let's sit back and relax. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And let it out through your mouth. A nighttime stretch always makes my mind and body feel relaxed. Look, it's Lucy. Our friendly little firefly will show us who is stopping by. Welcome back, Sproutlet. We're on a differences adventure tonight. And different in Spanish is diferente. Diferente. We dance star. You know, when I was a little girl, my friends and I were a little different from one another but we were the best of friends. Hey, that's Carlos and Chelsea. That's right, Star. Chelsea had red hair and blue eyes, and I had brown hair and brown eyes. And I had yellow fur and stars in my hair, but Teddy had brown hair and no We're still good friends. Exactly. And Carlos didn't always like trying new things or going new places, so I stood by his side until he was ready to try. You're a really good friend, Nina. Well, Carlos and Chelsea were really good friends to me, too. This reminds me of a time when I was little. It's time to open wide our best day ever book and jump inside. It's our best day ever. Hi, Sproutlet. My friend Chelsea is coming over for lunch, and we're going to help make it. My tummy is hungry, Nina. What are we having? Well, I like tacos with chili peppers, but Chelsea doesn't like spicy food. Mm, me neither. How about marshmallow and chocolate sandwiches? Chocolate for lunch isn't very healthy. Well, what can we make that we all like? How about tuna fish wrap up? Chelsea loves fish. Yee, delicious. First, we need the wrap. Sproutlets, do you see the tortilla wrap? There. On the middle shelf. Great. Next, we'll need the tuna fish. Star, can you find the cans of tuna fish? I see them. Awesome. Next, we need lettuce, peppers, because I want peppers on my wrap, and celery. Nina, I don't see lettuce or peppers or celery, which is great, because I do not like celery. That's because they're in the fridge. I 
least you make your app without celery, Star. Droutlet, can you find the lettuce? Right there. And here are the peppers and celery. We have all the ingredients we need to make lunch for everyone. Even if each wrap is a little different. Nina, don't forget the chocolate. Oh, Star, maybe for dessert. That was so cool. I had fun, too. Let's spend some more time in Nina's world. That sounds like a great idea. I know. That's why I thought of it. Well, come on. Let's go. Hi, Sproutlets. We're so glad you're here with us on our Amigo por Correo adventure. That means pen pal adventure in Spanish. Amigo means friend, and por Correo means by mail. Muy bien, Star. Tonight, Star got a letter in the mail from his pen pal, Kabir. Whenever I get a letter from Kabir, I write a letter back to him. You want to help me? Let's do it. Well, we can write our letter with this papel. Papel means paper in Spanish. And we can use this lapis. Can you guess what lapis means in Spanish? Lapis must mean pit. You got it, Star. Okay, Nina, what should we write? Well, anything. We could make a special drawing, we can write a message, or we can even make up a poem. A poem? That sounds fun. Great. Let's start like this. Gracias for the carta. It was so sweet. Carta? What's that? Oh, carta means letter in Spanish. Oh. Gracias for the carta. It was so sweet. Reading it was such a treat! Oh, nice one, Star. This note of gracias comes from afar. With lots of love from Nina and Star! Perfecto. Now I'll fold up this letter and tomorrow we'll put it in the mailbox. Kabir is going to look. Now I want to show you the words pen pal using sign language. Sign language is a real language where you use your hands to communicate something. Here's pen pal. So first, you take one hand out like this and flick one finger over to your other hand. And you flick back, just like that. It's almost like you're sending a letter back and forth between you and your pen pal. Will you try it with me? Okay, here we go. Pen pal. Nice job. Let's try it again. Pen pal. I love sending letters to a pen pal almost as much as I love getting them. Wait a sign, Sproutlet. Here comes our favorite firefly. Her shiny tail lights up the sky. Come on, Lucy. Don't be shy. Show us who something by. A pen pal adventure. Tonight we've been talking about how fun it is to keep in touch with a pen pal by sending letters back and forth. Stars in the Goodnight Garden with some Sproutlet friends now. Let's join him. Have you ever heard of a pen pal? Yeah, I've, I've heard of that. It's kind of like uh, writing, uh, two pals writing to each other with a pen. That's really cool. Have you ever sent anything out in the mail before? Yeah. I sent a card to my friend that I missed her and we wanted to have a play date. Oh, that's so nice. Who would you write a letter to? My friend Ava. Who's Ava? She lives right, like right next door. What would you say in the letter? Please come to my play date. That's a very formal way of inviting someone to a play date. I said, hello, Grandma. How are you doing? Whoa, you know how to write all that? Yeah. Wow. Oh, when it's my birthday, sometimes my um my aunt um gives me um a dollar and she sends it in the mail. That's so nice. Who'd you send the letter to? My aunt Stacy. You did? My um, cousin Gigi. Wow, what did you say? I said I love you. Oh, that's so nice. I bet they wrote back. It said I love you too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love you, Star. I love you too, Lucy. Wow, you Sproutlets have so many 
interesting things to say. Thanks for sharing all of your great ideas with us. Oh, Lucy's here with another friend. Who's here to play, Luce? Welcome back, Sproutlets. Tonight, we're on a good night pen pal adventure. And pen pal in Spanish is Amigo Port Correo. New game star. Good remembering. I love getting mail from my pen pal. Even though we don't live close to each other, he's one of my best friends. Oh, huh. you know, Star, I have a story about pen pals who lived very far away from each other, but they became very close friends. Yippee! It's time to sprout a sandy story. Once a sprout a time, there was a boy named Laurent. Laurent? I like that name. It sounds kind of French. You're right, Star. It is French. Laurent and his family lived in the country of France. Cool! Laurent had never traveled outside of France until one summer he and his family went on a trip to China. China? Awesome! He and his family explored the country and even visited the Great Wall of China. Whoa! That is a great wall, Nina. While he was there, Laurent met a little girl named Noah. Noah was a good name. Laurent and Noah enjoyed playing together, but soon it was time for Laurent's family to go home to France. But they were just becoming friends. Laurent and Noah were sad to say goodbye, but they decided to be pen pals and write to each other as often as they could. What did they write about, Nina? All kinds of things. Laurent would tell Noah about school, his piano lessons, and all of his friends. Oh, that's nice. And what did Noah tell Laurent? Nuo wrote Laurent about her favorite foods, her family, and her favorite games. So, even though they didn't live close to each other, they stayed pals? That's right, Star. They stayed pen pals. Pen pals forever. Pen pals forever. Yay! I'm so happy they're friends. Thanks for telling us a great sandy story, Nina. You're welcome, Star. If you have a friend that lives far away, you can be pen pals and share drawings, emails, or pictures. Just like the Ron and Nuba. And you and your friend Kelly. Listen to that. Our pal Lucy is here with another friend. There you go, Hush. Welcome back, Sproutlet. Tonight, Star got a letter from his pen pal, Kabir. Yep, so we wrote him a letter back. And now all we have to do is put a stamp on it. Put a stamp on it. And it's all ready for the mail. Now there's something else we have to do. It's time to sing the cleanup song. That's right. Because when we put all our toys away, we know where to find them the next day. Get your toys up off the floor. Doodly doodly do. Put them in a box or put them in a drawer. Doodly doodly do. Put your things where they belong. Sing our nightly cleanup song. Bit by bit and one by one. Until you're done. If you make a mess, clean it up for them. Tomorrow we can do this all again. <laughs> you see that star? The you and me tree is as clean as can be. This place looks smartly clean. It sure does. And now it's time to do something else. Should we write another letter to our amigo Port Correo? No. Oh, maybe we should check and see if we have more mail. I don't think so. Hmm. I should brush my teeth and get ready for bed? You got it, Star. Let's brush, Sprout Brush a brush a brush a brush a brush. Brush, 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 brush. Take your time, no need to rush. Brush them every day and every night. And soon you'll have a smile clean and bright. Wow! Keep going, we're not done yet. Front and back, up and wide, up and down, not side to side. Now you see how easy it can be. Then rinse and spit, that's it. And soon your teeth will be so clean they'll sparkle like me. And that's clean. There you go. Nice and 
cozy. And you know, I love getting mail from my pen pal, especially drawings and letters and pictures. Uh, do you think we'll get some more mail tomorrow? I hope so. We'll see what surprises tomorrow might bring. Good night, Star. And if it's your bedtime too, Spratlet, good night to you. But if you're still up, let's find out who's here to play. Hi, Spratlets. We've had an amazing pen pal adventure tonight. We got a letter from Star's pen pal. We played games, heard stories, and we learned that pen pal in Spanish is amigo or correo. Star's already sleeping. Maybe he's dreaming about getting mail from a friend. And now it's time to make our special nighttime wish. Do you have a wish you want to make? Then let's make our wishes together. I'm going to use sign language while I say our poem. Remember, sign language is a real language where you use your hands to communicate. Ready? Great. Hush, hush, little fish. We are here to make a wish. We close our eyes and then we start to make a wish with all our heart. Now make your wish a special wish as wonderful and unique as you. And when you rest your eyes tonight, I'll wish that it comes true. My wish for you is that you have sweet, sweet dreams tonight. Good night, Hush. Good night, Spratlets. See you tomorrow. Okay, we had another fantastic day, but now it's time to say.